Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, tonight is another um, challenge cook with me based off of the name of one of my animals. And we are finally nearing the end of it. Um, uh, where's my paper? Let's see here. I may actually make this the last one. Um, I'm, uh, then again, I may just go ahead and finish it out because Laura is starting her new um, challenge, which is the chopped challenge. And she wasn't, she wanted me to start with her. I seen that comment. I haven't had a chance to respond, but she wanted me to start with her. And uh, let's see here. If I do tonight, Rexy is tonight. I already have that picked out. That leaves me with tomorrow is will be Sunday. So one, two. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, that'll just leave me with three more days. So I guess I'll finish this one out. I'll do Rexy tonight. Explain to y'all about Rexy. Y'all actually, if you've been here for a while, will remember when I introduced Rexy to you guys. Rexy is a rescue that was, I was still um, trying to have a relationship with my mom. Uh, so I was going out of my way every single Sunday, going to her house. I was still in that people pleaser stage, I guess, just trying to have that relationship with my mom. So I would go every Sunday, I would clean her house. Um, I was, I was trying guys. Well, that was obviously before I cut off all contact. Um, which by the way, I know some people I've had comments about, I can't believe you said that about your mother on here on your YouTube channel or this and that, unless you have a narcissistic parent, you don't understand. Um, I honestly do not regret it. I have been happier, a lot of stress free, um, there was this giant weight lifted off my shoulders. I don't have to, what's the word? Please her, I guess. I can finally do something right. Um, I don't need her approval. So it sucks because you, you want a mom. But beside the point, I was still talking to her and I had went over there one Sunday and there was this, and this was also before my dad had left, before they split up. And there was this tiny little gray kitten on their steps. And they have this big, they had this big outside dog. Um, I don't know what he was. He was really large. But apparently he brought the kitten home in his mouth. Like the kitten was covered in slobber. She, she was tiny. She, there was no reason she shouldn't have been with her mom. Like that's how tiny she was. Um, and my dad, my dad being my dad, and knowing I have a heart for animals, he was like, come on. He was like, you got to take it. I'm feeding it potted meat. And if you guys don't know what potted meat is, just look it up. My dad loves potted meat. I think it's disgusting. Um, but he was feeding this little tiny, tiny kitten potted meat. So I was like, okay, well, if you're able to get potted meat into this cat, let me reach out to my husband and make sure he's okay with it because I don't know about your relationships, but I do try to run things by him. There may be something small that it's like, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. He'll be fine. It's not that big a deal or it's not like that big of a thing, but bringing another animal in the house or spending a lot of money, I'm going to run it by him. So I sent him a text and a picture of this kitten and sure enough, he was like, she's cute. Yes. So I put her in a little box and I had a tank top on cause it was, I want to say, yeah, it was summertime. When did it? Yeah, it was summertime. Um, she, it was in June of last year. So she's not even a year old yet. Um, almost. So, but she would not stop crying. She could not, she just the meowing and the crying. So I put her in this cardboard box. I took my shirt off and I put my shirt down in there with her and she, she shut up. 
she quit crying. She curled up in my shirt. She went to sleep. I did my business and cleaned my mother's house. And then I collected the cat, the box and all, and I left. Um, she's been a feisty little thing. I am going to go get her for you. I will warn you. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to, like, run off. She is in heat. She is not fixed yet. I need to get her fixed. But because she is in heat and I have one male that is not fixed as well, I don't want, you know, I don't want babies. I don't want any kitten babies. So she stays in my bedroom, the master bedroom with the bathroom. She has access to water and she's actually spoiled. She will jump up on the counter and pull at the faucet because she wants fresh drippy water. But they have everything they need in there. So I'm going to go get her so you can see how beautiful she has gotten. She is a gorgeous cat. All right, so here she is. Like I said, she is a gorgeous kitty cat. She's this pretty gray silver with like some cream throughout. I don't know what breed she is. Um, I'm mixed between if she has Maine Coon in her or what, but she's gorgeous. Um, like I said, she's not even a year old, but she's getting feisty. So I'm gonna go put her back. You're not getting down, girl. Huh? No, because I knew she wouldn't let you pick her up. There you go, baby girl. Yeah, I wasn't going to make you pick her up. No, Josh says, I'm glad you didn't make me pick her up. She, like I said, is my cat. Um, She's feisty, though. I'm not going to lie to you. That's why I think she does have some Maine Coon in her, or there is some sort of feral wild cat like in her because she when i say has an attitude problem i'm hoping when she does get fixed once we have the extra funds to get her fixed that that fixes the problem um but she's mean she she can be very mean um thank god my children aren't little because i would get rid of her if they were little because you can walk by the sofa if she's out and about laying on the back of the sofa she'll slap you Claws and all. So, for Rexy, it is Saturday. I am tired. I did not sleep last night. I ended up actually coming in here at like 2 o'clock in the morning and sitting on the sofa so that I did not wake up Josh and I could actually listen to like the TikTok reels and Facebook reels and videos. Um, so, I'm tired, guys. And I was struggling with the R. Because I've already done ribs. I don't like ratatouille. I would be the only one to eat a Reuben. Um, I could have done ramen, but I kind of sort of done ramen when, like, when I done the um, lo mein because I used ramen noodles. And I'm not a big fan of, like, instant ramen. Like, and I just, I'm tired, guys. So, let me take you over there. But I've been snacking because I'm hungry too, so, um... Grab a snack. Alright. Do you see what's for dinner? It's not a Costco chicken. It's not a Sam's Club chicken. It is a Walmart chicken. And... We're having rotisserie chicken. I think that works. R for R. Um, yeah. Rotisserie chicken. I have some mac and cheese in the cabinet. So I got mac and cheese out. Josh likes baked beans and mac and cheese together. So I opened up a can of baked beans. Hey, that's funny though. These are also great value Walmart brand, but I did not buy these. These came from the food pantry. I did buy this today. Um, 
I had to get some Easter supplies, guys. Thank God my children are older. Oh. However, we are doing something different this year. Um, Josh and myself will not be here on Easter Day. Um, I know, I know, what are we doing? And I'm planning some videos ahead of time that will you'll be able to see next weekend but Josh and myself, we will not actually be here. Uh, my friend, she goes camping a lot, and she had a she has an extra camper travel trailer, um, whatever you want to call it. It's not a tent. It's you pull it with your truck. Um, it's a trailer, but it's not an RV. It's I don't know. It's camping, guys. But she let us borrow it. They got a campsite. And so we are going to go with them, like the two, two, two people, two family or two couples. We're going to go camping and kind of excited guys. I'm ready for a break. I love my kids. And honestly, when we planned this initially, nobody realized it was Easter weekend and she does not have children. I do, but my children are older guys. So when I brought it up to them, they're okay. So. What I'm doing this year, Sunday morning, I will FaceTime both of the girls. I will give them their first riddle, which will lead them to an empty Easter basket. That basket, like I said, will be empty with one thing. It will contain a riddle or clue to their first item that they will put into their basket. So my goal in doing this is they are going to have their Easter egg hunt and get their basket. And I won't be here, but I'll be able to watch it because I'm going um, to FaceTime them. So I'm, I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be, it's going to be nice. Um, they're... I don't I didn't get a lot I've already put it up so it's not gonna be a lot of places I just you know a little cheap candy here a little cheap candy there um, and at the very end the very last thing that they are going to go collect is she in her room okay she's in her room so I know she can't hear me it's gonna be their big thing I texted my youngest daughter today and I asked her uh, what books she had been wanting and she listed off a number of them so I went to Walmart or actually I was in Walmart and um, sure enough one of the books off of that list there was only one left so I was like okay that must be a pretty popular book amongst these middle school girls so that's gonna be her big final to finish off hers um, and then Hannah, she's at work, but Hannah has started, um, I guess she's trying to find her relationship with God. Um, and as a mother, you, you, um, encourage your children. So what I got for her was a journal and a 365 day devotional. So I hope it helps her. Um, but I'm excited for that because we're going to get a break. Plus also... April 1st, okay, April 1st is the day he messaged me, but our anniversary is 4-5, so April 5th, which is the Monday that we're coming back home, so um, it's kind of like we're getting away, I get to enjoy some time with my friend, he gets to do some fishing, celebrate our anniversary, and you know, just relax. That's the main goal of this trip is to just relax. It's not one of these, let's travel and go sightseeing. No, we're gonna, four or five? Oh, that's right, because we're coming, coming back on the first. Oh, that's per, okay. Why did I think the fifth was on a Monday? Okay, never mind. We're coming back on the first. Thank you. We're not gone. I would love to be gone for a whole week. Uh, but yeah, four or five is the day we actually got married. Um, but not in the same year. <laughs> Let me clarify that. Okay. 
Yeah, April 1st, he, I got this Facebook message from this random guy in the warehouse talking about, you know, you're pretty, this and that, and you probably don't know me, blah, blah, blah. It took me a while to respond to it, and I finally responded and gave him a chance. But you have to remember, I was a single mother of two kids, two girls at that. Um, so I was, you know, I had my guard up. But I gave him a chance, and sure enough, a year later, literally a year later on 4-5, or five, we got married. We didn't even tell people that we got married. Um, went to the courthouse. We had our friend slash co-worker he actually doesn't work there now he went out i guess disability stuff but um him and his wife were our witnesses my own parents didn't even find out till almost almost two years later they found out in november october august september they found out last year um before i quit talking to my mother so and trust me, that was a whole spill. I I was the worst person ever because she should have been there. Um, but beside the point, we're not going to go down that rabbit hole because, like I said, my life has been stress-free. Um, so, yeah, if you guys ever need a cheap getaway, um, camping is the way to do it because we honestly haven't. The only thing we had to do was, um, like, you're, we're going to have to put gas in our truck, um, food, but you take, you know, just take your food with you, use what you got. Um, we already had an air mattress, so we're putting the air mattress in the trailer, because like I said, it's not, it's not a travel trailer that's set up for traveling. It is literally a trailer, like an enclosed trailer. Um, the one they use, they've already got it set up like it has a permanent bed. They've got it set up nice. This one is smaller, but it's got lights, it's got a power cord, it's got windows. So, I'm excited. I don't mind sleeping on an air mattress. Um, to be able to wake up and see some mountains because where we're going, where I live is flat land. It's flat, but we do have the mountains of North Carolina. So it's just a couple hours uh, towards Asheville, North Carolina. We're going to a uh, black mountain. So I'm excited to get away guys, but don't worry. Don't you worry your little hearts out. I have some videos pre-recorded so that you still get your daily fix of me and who knows maybe i'll show you a little short of me relaxing by the lake so who knows and maybe by the fire because the weather is supposed to be amazing like in the 60s and sunny so i'm excited i just got to get through this week get through this week guys which i should be able to do that because i travel with work on tuesday and come back wednesday so i'm only going to be in the warehouse two days this week i should be just fine guys all right we're just going to put dump this in this is not going to be something that takes long i'll go ahead and put this in um my microwave chef mike super excited. Do you guys ever do the whole camping thing? And we have too many animals. I know before somebody says, why don't you take your kids, this and that, do a family trip. We have too many animals. Um, my little, my, she's not little guys, she's 13, but she actually starts her spring break that Friday. Um, so I don't have to stress about her missing school or anything. She'll, she can sleep in. Um, she's the one that, you know, I can call her and be like, hey, do you, you know, go get eggs? Because Hannah works. And sometimes Hannah, my older one, has a tendency to sleep all day. I'm just not going to lie. She's a 17-year-old. She has a tendency to sleep all day and stay up all night. Um, 
I don't have to stress my kids throwing parties because thank God I don't have those children. Those are not my kids. Those are somebody else's kids that are throwing the house parties. Um, so, I don't, I don't know. We can do like overnight because I have my youngest one, but we didn't know this in advance. I, it was at the concert that my youngest daughter's best friend her mom went to go see her in concert and she let us know that hey if y'all ever want to do a whole family trip you know she was like me and Abby can go feed the animals and Abby can do the chickens because she's afraid the chickens will chase her so at least we do have that I still don't like to impose on people so we typically do not go places unless it's just like one night because for one night the chickens are fine the cats are fine and we typically have somebody deal with just the three dogs or we can take the three dogs with us um, so but we have too many animals so this one is just an adult camping trip yes I'm excited I need a break a mom break but I have I have been planning so I have some pre-recorded videos that will be uploaded so you guys still have your daily fix and get to see me and like I said maybe I'll give you a fresh one Are you hot yeah okay it says it's hot so we're just waiting on the noodles to cook so I can drain them add the cheese sauce Make a plate and be done. Trash. Ah! You're not supposed to do that. Ouch. Oh, you're oh. I dropped the, the, the can. shells are really tiny I was going to do a um baked uh what is it baked rotini or something I found a recipe for it but like I said guys I'm tired and I don't have rotini noodles so I said you know what I'm just gonna buy a rotisserie chicken I have stuff at home to throw on the side and that's what I did And I am still eating on those chips I bought when I did that last grocery shopping trip. I told you they'd last me for a while because this is the last of the cheese. So, I told y'all. It was my little treat and it would last me. Oh, and I picked up some Italian seasoning today. It was at our, we have this store called Ollie's. Ollie's uh, Bargain Outlet. So $1.49. I feel like that was a decent price and I needed some just universal Italian seasoning. I'm gonna keep eating these chips and then I'm not gonna be able to eat dinner, but it's okay. I'm hungry and I haven't ate today. Oh, and I found these at Ollie's. Okay. One of my favorite holiday candies. It doesn't matter what holiday it is, you can usually find some sort of variation of it. Russell Stover's will have a like marshmallow cream filled something. Like at Christmas, it'll be like the Santas or the little ornaments. Um, you'll know when I show you in a minute. They were 50 cent. I have a maple cream egg. 
a raspberry cream egg. I got a peanut butter egg. And then I have a vanilla cream egg. I love these and I love when they have the marshmallow ones. These are their cream ones and the peanut butter, but I was actually in the checkout guys and I normally don't do impulse buys, but I mean, it's $2 and it makes me happy for a little bit until it's gone and then I'm all sad, so. But yeah, I picked up those. That's my Easter gift. I found him. He loves Clark cups. I don't know if you know what those are, um, but it, they're really, really hard to find around here. Like you, you can't find them. So that same store, Ollie's had some and I got him a, it's a four pack. He's already been eating them. Oh, and Bell is the lucky one that's going camping with us because my friend has a little beagle mix and her name is Daisy and she they're literally probably about the same size so I feel like Belle and Daisy we're they're gonna make friends they're gonna become friends so boy Gabby girl I've been debating on actually taking my Gabby girl too because um that's my spoiled one. Only thing is, is she's a Yorkie and she likes to pee. I know, TMI, but she likes to pee. I, I'm telling you, her bladder is like non-existent. She'll go outside, but as soon as she gets happy or if you go to scratch her, she like splutes out and next thing you know, she's dribbling and it's just like, Gabby, stop. Yeah, you need a diaper. So yeah, this is a super simple, easy mom dinner. Everybody eats it. I mean, well, not the baked beans. Katie is not touching those baked beans. And another little trick that I um, have started doing, because I do travel with work, and work pays for my hotel, um, I signed up before my very first work trip. I signed up with Marriott Bonvoy, the app, and became a, it's free to do so, to sign up. Because I knew I would be traveling with work. So, I only stay in their hotels, and I earn all my points, so when I have a free night, am I gonna use that for work? No. You know why? Because work is paying me back for that room. So I save those free nights and I'll use them for us, a free night stay. See? Smart, right? All right, let me get the baked beans out. Well, throw this way. Are they hot all the way through? Oops. 
so. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. They're good. So, we, we, you guys see it it is literally a rotisserie chicken canned baked beans box mac and cheese i didn't have to do anything i didn't even open a seasoning one i didn't even put salt and pepper on it you know why they can put salt and pepper on their plate the chicken walmart took care of it and any leftover chicken is going to be awesome help throughout the week so all right friends until next time please Take care.